Hey, it's hot. And what we're going to be doing in this unit is talking about heat. And talking about heat and matter. This is what we're talking about now. Now, as you can see, I've got these two hot plates red hot. There is heat pouring out of here. But what really is heat? What is the stuff that we talk about? It really is there. There really is a definition of this. And really what it is, is energy being transported. Energy moving between two objects of different temperatures. This is really what we're talking about when we're talking about heat. And this heat moves in a predictable pattern from the hotter to the cooler. Sort of like this. Here's my cup of coffee. The cup of coffee is hot. The heat is moving from the coffee out into the room. Heat moves in a particular manner from the cooler site to the, all the sites that it reaches with this same temperature. And it would keep moving until my coffee is the same temperature as the surrounding. So when we're talking about something like heat, whoa, you can feel it. And you can feel it moving. And that heat is coming out, wow at a predictable manner out into the environment. Heat is something that affects matter. And this is what we're looking about in this unit. Heat and matter. What happens when something is heated up? What's happening on those particles on a molecular level? And when you do take a temperature, what actually is temperature? So we have a little experiment going he on here with some food coloring. So how will the food coloring spread through the containers of cold water, of room temperature water, and of boiling hot water or frozen water? So I have cold, and this cold water I have taken at a temperature and of course, when water is freezing, it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This water is about 32, in other words, zero Celsius. This water in the middle, this is our room temperature. And the room temperature today is about 75.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 24.1 degrees Celsius. Now, the hot water, and this has been boiling here right now, I'm going to pour in, and we're going to get a temperature with our hot water. So when water boils, we'll put that all the way to the top. So when hot water boils, we have about 212 degrees or 100 degrees Celsius. So let's see what happens when we drop the food color into the water at different temperatures. Temperature is really the kinetic energy, the average kinetic energy of all the particles in this material, which today is water. And we measure it, of course, with a thermometer in degrees, usually Celsius in science, but we usually hear it on the news and things as Fahrenheit. So let's see what happens when we drop in our food coloring. So here is our boiling water. And here goes the boiling water. I'm going to do three drops. Here is our room temperature water. and our cold water. Now, if we wait for a little while and see what happens, 
the temperature of the water is really determined, remember, by the kinetic energy of the particles in the material. So let's take a look at the hot one right here. The hot water, it's completely diffused. It looks like all the same color throughout already within a minute. Here is our color for our room temperature, and you can see there's still areas that haven't been covered yet. Now, on our cold water, we don't see a lot of diffusion. And in fact, it looks like it's falling right to the bottom and staying very close together. So when you're talking about temperature, and you're talking about heat and matter, there's a particular thing that you want to keep in mind when the temperature goes up and when the temperature goes down. Thank you for watching our experiment today showing what happens when the temperature is different with heat and matter.